What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you the new 14W32A Minecraft Snapshot which I believe is the coolest snapshot we've had to date because it includes coloured beacons, armour stands and brand new block, uh, the coloured sand sandstone which is really awesome. So let's start with the coloured beacons. This is absolutely incredible. People have been wanting this for ages. I've been wanting this for ages. It's really cool. So you can take any colour of glass you want. So for example let's take a piece of... Uh, red glass which is in blocks here what you do is literally place it above the beacon and from anywhere above this point including inside of the block will turn to that color now the way the mechanics work for this is you can actually mix and match colors so for example this white glass doesn't do anything because it's really white goes through the blue goes blue goes through the white glass again and it turns to a bluey white so it does actually mix the color together so for example if I were to do this you should see that the red beacon now changes and if I were to do that it should go back to the actual original colour so there you go, you can kind of pretty much figure out how it works and even if you double up two coloured glasses as well it makes the colour darker as you can see, so you can make it really kind of real dark green hopefully I haven't actually tested too far on how far it goes but the green looks really cool it does take quite a while to update so you can't do like really quick flashy um, actually show so there we go as you can see that uh, let's move on to the next one armor stands they're really cool I'm not sure about the crafting recipe yet um, but they are so cool let's just show you this let's go into game mode 1 and game mode 0 even so whoa here it is in action it looks really really cool you can put any piece of armor on it let's just show you, show you that now so let's put that on it it doesn't matter where you click but it'll all go on uh, you can also put heads on it there we go, but you cannot put weapons on it. However, in M, um, MBT Edit, I believe, you can put items in the hand and items in the hand, uh, like items and weapons and things like that. Uh, you can also change the size of them down to like smaller um, smaller sizes, like as in like a, uh, a zombie, which, a baby zombie, which is really cool. They also, they're technically entities, they're not actually blocks. So let me show you this. If I do that, it'll actually pick it up and just push it back onto the to the minecart track quickly boom there you go moves around and also you can still put well okay you can still put items on it as well i haven't figured out how you get the items off yet let's test that now on camera maybe you just punch it or you just punch it and break it oh my god do not blow up my test world so there we go so while it's moving you can also like this put items on it that was a bit weird that glitched out there we go, still a bit buggy. What you could do as well is if I go into game mode 1, it could almost be like a. Well, that's weird. It could almost be like a, um, a shooting ground. There we go. I shoot them off. And that's really cool as well that they come off and pop next to the block and they break. I think that's another snapshot glitch. Yeah, the, so that's a bug there. But this is another cool thing as well. You can now make. Uh, dark sandstone, chiseled red sandstone and you make these exactly the same way as you do these so let's actually quickly change the setting because I don't want to get blown up by going like that let's set the time of day ok let's experiment with these game mode 0, so what you do is take your red sand you make it into sandstone like so, and that gives you your normal sandstone colour, now to make this sandstone here you want to do the same pattern again. It gives you your smooth one. Now to make your chiseled sandstone, you want to make some uh, slabs. Okay, so you literally just put two smooth slabs, uh, some stone slabs. Ah, my god, sandstone slabs on top of each other. It gives you that. Well, it's quite interesting as well. They've got different patterns. So this actually kind of looks more like a wither. And this is a uh, creeper as well. And then, of course, you have the stones and the, uh, the uh, stairs and the half slabs. And you make that, of course, in the same way. Like so I've got enough which I don't because I'm poor so this actually does give a lot more um, kind of things to do lots a lot more block a load more block types to build with and as you can see like the normal stairs oh they still have the original block texture on the top so it's literally like hang on, let's see if I can show you this now 
um, I can do this and then like that you can see you've got the uh, ordinary sandstone texture on the bottom so that's pretty much this snapshot and it is really cool it's my favorite snapshot just because of the beacons because people have been wanting this for ages and it's so 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 freaking cool and um, I put the snow behind it so you can see it a bit easier but my favorite one to use I'd say actually let's test something here let's use the stained stained glass um, panes and see if that does anything oh that's a bit weird is that a, oh there, there they are oh it does do something so that's something to note as well um, glass panes actually work too even though they're block that's odd Oh, is that an invisible one? So, yeah, even though they're hitbox, that's the hitbox. It's not actually covering the entire block, so that's pretty cool. There you go. You can see it there. So that's something to note as well. As glass panes do it, but red has got to be my favourite colour. It looks so cool. It really stands out. So uh, this is the snapshot. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a little like down below, and I'll see you in my next video.